Hello guys, good morning, welcome to my channel, KTech, where we handle everything techy. Today we are going to show you, or we're going to be talking about how to um, split a PS3 downloaded game that has files that are larger than 4 gig, so we can copy them into our FAT32 drive and play them on our PS3 console. Now because PS3 console only recognizes hard drives that are formatted to FAT32. And then FAT32 has um, a copy upper limit of 4 gig. You cannot copy a file that is larger than 4 gig into your FAT32 drive. Now, I just downloaded the game. It's called uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, there it is. Red Dead Redemption. Now, if you open this game, you find out that we have a file that is way larger than 4 gig. All right. If you look at this file, it's about 6.8 gigabyte of size. Don't bother, don't bother about the 7.16 you're seeing there. It's probably about 6.8 gigabyte in size. Now, if I try to copy this file into my FAT32 drive, it will not go. Let me show you. Let's copy and go to PC so you can see very well what I'm talking about. This is my drive. It's FAT32. I have my games in there. Now let's say just that file. I'm copying just that file. All right, just to save time. I paste. You see, it tells you the file. That's the name. RDR2 layer zero RPF is too large for the destination file system. That is because it is way larger than four gigabyte. So. The question now is how do I get that game into my drive since I have a upper limit of 4 gig to be able to copy into FAT32 drive. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use an application and it's called Split 4G. Split 4G. All right. You can just Google it. You get it to download. It's a free application. All right. Now this is Split 4G, I already have it, so I don't have to download it. Just fire it up, open it. And what we'll do is, if you look at the, the software, you see, it tells you file splitter for gigabytes. Use with PS3 file manager and FAT32 drives. We have source game folder. So we're gonna select our game. We're gonna look for it where it is in our system. Because it should be somewhere in downloads. So let's see. Okay. Um, there you go. There you go. Downloads. Yeah. That's downloads. Uh, that's it. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Just click OK and then selected the file that the game there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the destination folder. Where do we want to take put this game in? I want to put it in my FAT32 uh, drive where I have my other PS3 games. Alright, that's drive E. Inside the folder games. Alright. OK. I haven't selected the destination folder. The next thing you want to ensure is that your Split format is set to file name dot six 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 hash hash. All right, because we have other options. There's dot part dot hash. Or no, we want this hash hash. Once you ensure that that is selected, you just click start. Now it tells us that the source folder contains one big, which is over four gig gigabyte of size file. Okay, or no. Now it starts to split. Okay. This is going to take a while, so please be patient with us. As you can see, our copying is at 98% now, our uh, splitting rather is at 99% and it's done. Alright, remember we had to cut part of the splitting process off so we can save time and data. Okay, now having done this, we're just going to close this and then eject our flash. Or before we eject our hard drive, let us confirm that it has actually been, the game has actually been splitted and was done properly. So I'm just gonna go into my drive. This is my drive. 
games folder and uh, okay there we are red dead redemption let's just open up and see to be sure that everything is fine yeah and you see the file that was about 6.8 to 7.1 gig it's now been split into two parts all right so uh splitting has been done and let's just be sure that this is going to work on a playstation 3 so we're going to eject that flash now hard drive now and go over to the game console all right there you go um, so welcome back guys as you can see this is my playstation 3 console so i'm gonna plug in i'm gonna plug in my hard drive first and having done that i'm gonna fire up my console all right all right so as you can see i already have hand installed on my PlayStation 3. If you don't have hand installed on yours, uh, you can make a video request. If you want to know how to do that, you can make a video request and I will make a tutorial video for you on how to install hand. So we're just going to fire up our hand first, enable our hand before we do any other thing. Right, hands enabled. We'll just go down to multi man. Open up a multi man. Just give it a while, please. My game is uh, not the fastest. All right, and multi man loaded. Aha! Now we are on games. So we're gonna refresh your games first. Now, something you have to understand, and that's the fact that you can actually copy this game into your hard drive and just have it there permanently, or you can play from your external hard drive. That's you can copy to the internal hard drive or play from the uh, external hard drive. Now, if you look at my games here, you see that everything is like two two. There's crisis one, crisis two, that's crisis three, three two times. Why is it like that? Look at it very well. You see the one that's called HDD. And the other one has got USB. It tells you that this I actually copied into my internal hard drive, but this is on the external hard drive. Okay, the console sees my external hard drive as a USB. Same thing, Far Cry HDD, not in my external. Mortal Kombat HDD internal. Need for Speed HDD internal, USB external. Now that's our game. So you can see Red Dead Redemption only on. A USB because it's not on my internal drive. Let's get this closer for you, probably, so you can see better. Right, so you can see that Red Dead Redemption USB because I don't have it in my internal hard drive, it's just on my external hard drive. If you want to know or learn how to copy to your internal hard drive, just place a video request and I'll show you how to do that. So, meanwhile, let's try our game and see if it works. So just gonna enter and it tells us pre-processing required for this title. Do you want to install required data in HDD? Yes, I want to, sir. Alright. And just wait for it to do the installation. It's gonna take a while, but don't worry, we'll get back to you once that is done. Alright, so our copying is at 98% and um, it's gonna be done soon. So we can confirm if uh split again. It's going to work. Now we're back to uh, default uh, um, XMB. So we're just going to scroll up and see if we have our game. And there it is. Red Dead Redemption. Now. Yeah, there it is. Red Dead Redemption. So let's fire it up and see if it's going to work.
just give it a while first installation first line so it's gonna take some time but it's not gonna take too long anyway already loading installing red dead redemption this is not supposed to take too long so let's just hold up for it wait for it Okay, we almost there. Nine, three, six, eight, and done. All right, let's. Aha, and our game is loading. Oh, it's working fine. Red Dead Redemption, your gameplay information will be loaded. All right, no problem. Just go ahead. And there you have it, guys. It works. Okay, so you don't have to be worried about how to get your game download games with large files into your ps3 console okay all you need to do is just go and download split 4g and um you can do the thing all right it'll do the thing for you all right so see you next time remember to like and subscribe to our channel all right so you can get more video tutorials on how to do it yourself regards to everything technological remember you can always make your video request all right just use the comment section ask for anything technological that you want explained for you that you want to be shown how it's done and we're going to make a video tutorial for you all right so i'll see you next time thank you bye bye